Hi, my name is Tanner Rose, Open National Trainer. Today we're going to work on tools for learning locomotor and manipulative skills. Beanbag exploration. You're going to need a couple of beanbags or some similar objects. We don't have beanbags at my house, so what we used was pairs of socks. In fact, we're going to use quite a few pairs. So if you get three, four, five, ten pairs of socks wadded up, that would be perfect. Today's activity, we're going to have fun exploring movement with the beanbags. I'm going to show you a movement, and then you're going to repeat the activity. Our skills that we're going to work on include keeping the beanbag under control as I toss it in the air. For cognitive skills, we're going to discuss the difference, uh, different locomotor skills that you use. Your fitness skills will work to stay actively engaged during all of the beanbag activities your personal and social responsibility, I'll use all of the equipment and activity space appropriately. Make sure you're being safe. First, we're going to spread the beanbags out and we're just going to walk around the beanbags. Walking is one of our locomotor skills. Try to walk close to them and not step on them. Try to walk further away from them. Now we're going to use another locomotor skill, running. Run from one beanbag to another. Touch it, and then run to the next. Try to reach one that's a little bit further away. We're going to gallop around the beanbags without touching them this time. When you gallop, feet together apart, together apart, together apart. Make sure you're going the direction of your toes. Now we're going to leap over all of the beanbags. When you leap, take off on one foot, land on the other. Try real hard not to land on those beanbags. Can you leap over two beanbags at once? If they're close, maybe three beanbags. Pick those up. Now we're going to toss it and clap before we catch it. How many times can you clap before catching it? Let's practice that. Let's toss it really high and clap before it hits the floor. Maybe you can clap three times before it hits the floor. Let's see if you can set a new record. Can you clap five times? It's about to get harder. Now we're going to clap a bunch of times and catch it. Make sure you toss it close so you can catch it. Can you flip it from your foot all the way up to your hand? This is quite challenging. You might want to balance it on your foot first and toss it straight up. Now you're going to toss it, you're going to turn, and you're going to try to catch it. Can you turn all the way around? You may need to toss it a little bit higher. Are you able to roll over the beanbag? If you've got lots of beanbags, can you roll over many of them? How about jumping like a frog? Can you crouch down like a frog and jump over it from side to side 
from front to back. It's fun to jump from side to side, and it's fun to jump from front to back. Can you pick a beanbag up with your feet and send it to your hands? You're stretching when you do this. I want you to stretch out and pick it back up. Now we're gonna work on balancing. Place the beanbag on your head, your shoulder, or your back. Practice balancing on one foot. Then shift your weight to the other foot. If your head is too easy, try your shoulder. If your shoulder is too easy, try your back. Continuing to balance on our head, shoulder, or back, we're gonna to try to sit and stand. And then we're gonna do it over and over. Start with it on your head. See if you can do it on your shoulder. And again, try with it on your back. Sit all the way down, come all the way back up. Now we're going to get into the plank position. Hands on the ground, toes on the ground. Are you able to balance it on your head, shoulder, or back while moving around in a circle? Try to keep your hands in the same spot. If you're able to do this, pick one of the other body positions, head, shoulder, or back. Can you slide the beanbag across the floor slowly? Use your foot. Are you able to use the inside of your foot like in soccer? Try the outside of your foot. Try pushing it with your toe. Now we're gonna slide back and forth with our hands. Can you slide quickly? How fast can you do it while maintaining control? Make sure you maintain control, you don't wanna lose it. Now it's your turn to create your own beanbag challenge. There's a lot of things you can do with a beanbag. Try something new. Try something new again. Today we worked on a lot of different actions or standards. We contrasted the actions of curling and stretching. We had twisting and bending. We traveled in different pathways using our locomotor skills. We followed the directions in our group. Now it's time to think a little bit. What is a locomotor skill? What are examples of locomotor skills? When do you perform locomotor skills? What are the differences between a skip and a gallop, a walk and a run? What does demonstrate mean? How do you demonstrate appropriate behavior in PE class? How is appropriate behavior related to PE equipment? Thanks for checking this out. For more health and physical education at home resources, check out openphyseded.org backslash active schools backslash active home. Thank you.